Hey folks, welcome back to Hoover Dam here on the Vegas Don channel. We uh, just went through the security checkpoint. They asked me if I had any guns or drugs, and I do not, so they let me pass. There at the security checkpoint. As we continue here, slippery when wet. Thank goodness we're not uh, driving here in the rain gonna drive over the dam this is what we used to do up until about I don't know 10 years maybe now that they built the new bridge you can see all the transmission lines out there for the uh, hydroelectric power that is generated scenic view here There is packed the uh, scenic view. See these transmission structures here. Hoover Dam is up here, railroad trail, another one of the trails here. Hoover Security Response Force, it says there. Speed limit drops to 15. There's the bridge that's Pat Tillman Bridge that bridges the gap between um, Nevada and Arizona going over Lake Mead. There are 10 bucks to park in there for those that wish to uh, park and then walk out here to the actual dam. Absolutely majestic though, it's really cool in my humble opinion. And this is the actual dam here, just past this crosswalk. Hoover Dam, 1931 to 1935. That's when it was dedicated. In 1935. You can see Nevada time there. On that structure. Hoover Dam Spillway House Event Center, it says there. As we come back here. over into Arizona right here and of course there was a movie a Vegas vacation that uh, talked about actually Clark Griswold got lost <laughs> on the damn tour it's the Arizona time there women's restroom there Pedestrians there, and see the roadway as it climbs out of this valley here. You can see the sides of the mountain, especially the way the sun hits them, it's beautiful. Premium here. 
even at this time of day, it is a premium for parking. I'm going to uh, try and get up here, but there is no spot for me. So you can see the uh, Pat Tillman Bridge up overhead there. And the spillway. I'm going to see if I can find a spot here. Somewhere. That is handicapped there. It's beautiful. see the sign for the Hoover Dam, the dam that shaped the southwest. See how it works. Of course the uh, summertime is very hot out here. Drink plenty of water, wear a hat, apply sunscreen, and close in on this map here. Let's show that. Historic railroad trail. We're here on the Arizona side. out over here. Nineteen seventy six memorial tribute to Anson Smith there, eighteen sixty to nineteen thirty five. Come out here and see the dam there. Do not cross guardrail. And there is the water out there. You can see the level is way down from once, where it once was. But of course the local government keeps uh, approving new developments. Rubber stamping, I should say. New developments here in Vegas every day. Almost every day. Just continues to put a strain on the water supply. Maritime traffic there. Beyond that uh, little fence thing down there. And there's the dam. The dam dam. And the Pat Tillman Bridge up there. Alright, and so we're back in the car now. I think we're ready to go. And uh, slowly pull out here. Those guys are parking spot, and here comes traffic. And proceeding towards Phoenix in that general direction. Not going to Phoenix, but uh, here on the Arizona side. As we start to climb now, back up the... Start to climb back up the mountain here. They have a lot of little parking lots here on the east side, on the Arizona side of the Dam Dam. Parking lot 14 over here. Now, you can get out and park. I don't know how long the time limit is for you to park there, but uh, you can certainly get out and park and take some pictures. Overlook, right there it says, 1600 feet. Falling rocks, that's always fun. Speed limit 15, but when you're climbing a hill or a mountain, you're not going to be able to get up that high that fast anyway. Not around these curves. No outlet, 1,000 feet. Look at that sign. That's fun. <laughs> Parking lot 15. Gifts and refreshments. Mile marker 1. Parking lot 16. what just happened. No pedestrians beyond that point. This looks like a helipad of some sort. I don't know how I got myself off the roadway. I just went right into a parking lot. Okay. I think I got myself into 
it. Oh, the road is closed. Shoot, so I can't go into Arizona any further. U.S. government property. No trespassing, it says there. All right, well, then we will continue back towards the Nevada side. Nevada, Nevada, something like that. Van Hool bus. Okay, so then we will uh, go back the way we came. So yeah, I mean, you pay 10 bucks at that parking garage on the Nevada side, and then you, on the Nevada side, and then you can um, walk down and walk across the dam. Or if that's not as important to you, you can uh, just park on one of these lots in one of these lots here on the Arizona side and just take your pictures of the dam and all of that. Speed limit 15. Going downhill here. here doesn't charge I just don't know how long the parking is good for and then it's a long way to walk of course and you have these signs that say no public access so you can't really walk there's no sidewalk per se sign says no buses there there's another shot of the uh, Pat Tillman bridge bridging the gap between Nevada and Arizona Nevada and Arizona And just a general reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. As we continue back towards the Nevada side. Nevada side. I keep getting that mixed up. And now we're getting the angles of the sun in here, too, that are uh, messing with the camera. As we come back here. Across the Hoover Dam again. Construction began 1931 during the Great Depression, during the Hoover administration. I'm sorry, FDR. No, it was Hoover. Hoover. That was the uh, FDR was elected in 32. Yeah, FDR was elected in 32. Depression hit at 29. Herbert Hoover was president at the time, and Hoover decided to create this dam out here, but other than that, he was uh, maligned because he wanted to stay out of the economy and the market, didn't want to interfere with the market. So, of course, the Great Depression occurred and you had the soup kitchens, long lines of people looking for food to eat, and um, it was not a good time in this country. And then, of course, 32 came and... Uh, FDR was elected president. And he saw the country all the way through uh, World War II. Well, almost all the way through World War II. And there's the years there. Hoover Dam, 1931, 1935. Department of the Interior. It's a U.S. agency. And there's a good shot of the bridge there. The interstate bridge over there. Look at the way those towers are leaning over like that. That's just really freaky. Food and gifts, and that's where the parking garage is, of course, that we passed. there again as we climb. A magnificent piece of uh, feat of engineering there with that bridge. Just crazy. I 
as well as the dam itself. More tour buses, of course. I think the area closed. What did we see that sign earlier that said that they're open till 9? 9 p.m.? Calling more tourists out here. But it's good for the economy, or something like that. No stopping any time. Mountain roads. Yeah, squigglies. Squiggly curves, those are the best. And, uh, might have some rental cars in front of us. They're looking, trying to look out for a glimpse of the dam. in any danger of breaching that though the way these guys are going temperature 85 degrees fahrenheit right now las vegas phoenix straight ahead railroad trail there's a hiking trail there there's the sign welcome to nevada Vegas and Phoenix, Bridge Scenic View. I'm gonna try and see what there is here to see. This scenic view. Up from dawn to dusk. Oh goodness, okay, so this, you have to climb all the way up there. Okay, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I, um, yeah. That's not what I had in mind. I thought it was like a vista view kind of thing, but no. Thanks for visiting. And uh, how do I turn left here? Wait for this guy to go. It looks like I just merge in the traffic here. Solid white line, so I can't cross. The sign up there says right lane ends. Okay, well then I'll just let these guys get in front. You see the sun is getting lower here in the uh, afternoon. security station that we saw coming in to Hoover Dam. And uh, Bureau of Reclamation, thank you for visiting Hoover Dam. And we're not going to go through Boulder City just because it uh, takes a long time get back on the interstate and we'll uh, do it that way. And more squiggly turnings here for the next two miles it says. Pacific time zone. Yes we are. Bighorn sheep next two miles. Guess they like to hang out down here. Of course they do, it's a water source. That would make sense. Nevada does this funky thing with its uh, mile marker signs. It does, um, you saw, I don't know if you saw the sign just now when we passed it, it said CL1, mile marker one, and CL for Clark. And then as you go into the other state, uh, sorry, counties here in the state, you, you have the first two letters usually. So like um, Nye County would be NY, 
even though it's NYE, the, total, the whole name is NYE, but whatever. And then Washoe County up where Reno is, is like WA. So, if you're not from here and you're not familiar with the county names, that <laughs> could be a little confusing. Like, why does it say CL? It's just for the first two letters of the county name. As we continue squiggly turnings here. The good news is that the winds haven't really affected us that much up here. It's uh, the mountains break up the wind. Boulder City. Move this right onto the highway entrance. Interstate 11. Westward bound. Again, this is a newer stretch of roadway. Probably within the last 10 years they completed it. You used to have to drive through Boulder City. get to the dam from Vegas and that took forever. As we continue now, technically north but uh, looking westward here as you can see the sun. good drive from Hoover Dam out to Vegas, but if you're tired of losing money at the casino, it's a good excuse to get out for the day away from the casino. And there are casinos all over town. You don't have to stick just only to the strip casinos. The strip casinos there on the Las Vegas Strip. You can see the bighorn sheep outlines they've done there. Metal work. in the Intermountain United States. Wide open spaces. And like when, well, like we said in an earlier video, if you play blackjack and you like better odds, you don't want to be in the six to five odds down at the strip. You want the three to two, the old school three to two odds, because of course you're betting two dollars to win one, win one. I'm sorry, a, a, betting betting one to win a dollar fifty, I believe is the math the way it works. Versus six to five where you bet a dollar and you win only like a dollar twenty seven or twenty eight or something like that. But the strip changed it a few years ago. I've seen a lot of folks complaining about that. It doesn't seem to be hurting the uh, strip's bottom line, though. They keep taking in record profits, well, at least record revenue. 
they put out a report every month from the gaming board here in Nevada. And it's only a matter of time before all this land out here, especially with an interstate here near a major metropolis, gets built up. That's how it happened with Henderson. Henderson was a few miles outside of Vegas, and now you can't really tell the difference between the two cities. And it'll be like that between Henderson and Vegas before too long. I'm sorry, Henderson and Boulder City for, before too long. Interstate 215, the Beltway, Charleston Boulevard is 31 minutes, and 36 minutes to Interstate 15. Interstate 15 is the big one that runs all the way from LA, or just east of LA, and north of San Diego, all the way up to Canada. Goes through Vegas, Salt Lake, Idaho, and Montana. not as well traveled say as Interstate 95 or Interstate 75 or even Interstate 5 for that matter but uh, it is a popular one. Helps keep, well if traffic is running smoothly which is very rare if uh, <laughs> there's no accidents or anything between here and LA takes about five hours. I know some people who like to uh, push the uh, limits and break the law. You can do it in uh, four and a half, maybe even four. If, you, if Only if it's all clear. But if it's not, forget it. You're sitting in traffic. And especially on Sunday afternoons, the traffic heading back to Southern California from here, it's a nightmare. They used to have the lanes on Interstate 15, used to be three lanes. Oh, well, uh, six lanes on the Nevada side of the border of California. And then as soon as it hit California, we dropped down to four lanes. So you had all that merging traffic, and of course people don't know how to merge, so that seems to be one of the most modern mysteries of humanity, how to merge correctly. A zipper merge and all that. Just can't get it done. Back here to the solar farms lining both sides of the highway here, whoever has these solar, owns these solar farms is making, farms is making a lot of money. Could be the casinos. Casinos wiggled themselves out of uh, having to pay for the, pay, pay the power company for electricity. Now they generate their own. And they don't have to um, 
pay the power company like the rest of us plebes out here. And this is where we merge back up with the uh, business route, US 93 business route going through the actual town of Boulder City. And there's US 95 coming in, you can see it there. It heads all the way down to Laughlin and then enters into the state of California and becomes actually kind of a fun ride. It's got a lot of bumpity bump out there in the desert. It's kind of fun. But that is one very deserted highway. For sure. Interstate 11, north, US 95, north, US 95, US 93, US 95, and Railroad Pass, again, it's been here for a long time. Let's see a plane climbing out of Las Vegas International Airport in the distance there. Say it looks like KLM. Although it could be Korean Air. They have a non-stop between here and Seoul almost daily. That Carolina blue color. Temperature right now 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Although the air quality is not in the good range today, it's stuck at like 90, I'm sorry, 77 earlier when we did our uh, noontime video. We do that every, every noon and every sunset every day, so please uh, check those out. But you can see there is downtown Fremont Street. Actually, the roadway goes straight out to and becomes Fremont Street, Boulder Highway does. And then you've got uh, the strip to the left of it, but you can see it's the, the air quality is really not that good right now with the, with the winds that we've had here today. Wagon Wheel Drive, Nevada State, Time, uh, State Drive, Nevada, Nevada State Drive. I know I get uh, a lot of folks complaining about my pronunciation there. Here comes an infinity looking to get in front of me. Charger behind me did not allow that to happen. You can see Black Mountain over here on the left with all the antennas and everything on there TV, cell antennas, etc. College Drive, Horizon Drive. Speed limit 65 here. North, technically north on Interstate 11, although right now geographically we're heading due west. You can tell by the sun here in front of us. Coming up to the exit at College Drive, exit 19 here. Foothills High School over here on the right. I once 
met a teacher, history teacher that worked out there, up here. And here we go, they are running. You can see these homes over here on the side of the highway are just on top of each other, piled on top of each other. Horizon Drive, three quarters of a mile, and then you have I-215 West and Lake Mead Parkway. Just under three miles away. I apologies to my metric friends. I don't know the conversion over. it still looks like we're doing pretty well in terms of uh, time there's not a doesn't look like there's a stoppage and there the strip comes into full view minus the air quality crappy air quality and there's Black Mountain up there with those uh, towers along with the, ho the homes here it, it, on its base we're gonna take the 215 West here in town. One, This one is, of course, East Lake Mead Parkway, and then the one up north is East Lake Mead Boulevard and West Lake Mead Boulevard. So, uh, looking at it north to south, top to bottom, B before P alphabetically. So, B is in the north, Boulevard, P is in the south, Parkway. And these vehicles are not going very fast at all. Apologies for the sun, we're going to be turning right into it here. And uh, they're going to be redoing this entire interchange and probably with good reason. The, traffic, the uh, population has grown so much and exploded here that uh, these, these little single lane arterials are not adequate and you can see what happens everyone gets backed up especially when it comes time to merge because again folks just have a problem with that sort of thing merging that is and our first exit here on the 215 is Gibson Road approaching in one quarter mile that's where a lot of the uh, car dealerships are here in town. Auto Show Drive is down there. We're going to go ahead and get around this. Is this Corolla, I think? Or Camry? One of those. Bruce Woodbury Beltway, Interstate 215. Viverde Drive and Green Valley Parkway. You can see the uh, time board up there. Eastern Avenue is four minutes away. I-15 is nine minutes away. And Durango, which is out on the west side of town. As so we come up to the exit here at Stephanie Street, which is a major artery here in the city of Henderson. But once it leaves Henderson, it kind of just fizzles out and dies. It was just never really completed up north of 
Henderson to connect to any of the streets in Greater Clark County. EOS Fitness up there. first moved here, I lived off of Valle Verde Drive up there at Warm Springs Road. It was an older neighborhood, but it was quiet for the most part. It had a psycho neighbor who wanted me to uh, clean up the gutters on the sides of the road. And when I told him that there were street sweepers for that purpose, he became enraged. So, um, yeah, I had to get out of that, that house, for sure. Looks like we're all stopping here for a tow truck loading a disabled vehicle. Everyone has to play Luxy Lou there. Still continuing westbound on Interstate 215, the Clark County Beltway. Bruce Woodbury Beltway. Next exit is going to be St. Rose. We're going to get off at St. Rose Parkway up here. The district, Green Valley Ranch, up there on the left, just past the interchange. It is uh, full of good food, dining, as well as Green Valley Ranch Casino. Has a lot of restaurants, a lot of dining, a lot of uh, shopping in there. Really cool stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and get over here for St. Rose Parkway. Because Eastern, the exit at Eastern here, which is the next exit, is just a nightmare. And Eastern Avenue here in Henderson is a nightmare. There's just way too much traffic on it. And they just keep building south of there, out Anthem and Inspirata, that area. And so you have all these folks that, you know, if, if they work and they need to go into town, they will uh, pile up there onto, onto Eastern there at the 215 and it just becomes a nightmare. So we await our turn here at St. Rose Parkway. And again, just a general reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. Helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make this cycle. So it looks like a lot of folks are starting to get off at St. Rose instead of Eastern. And this is now becoming a lot like Eastern is. And we'll go ahead and stop. Okay, and we got the green light again here at Picos. Someone selling flowers here at the exit. Exit ramp. And, uh, oh, this is rare. Usually the light right after you turn off of the highway here is always red. But this one's green. That's very unusual for Vegas. But no complaints. So now southbound here on St. Rose Parkway, this person just almost took it, took out the side of my car. Yeah, there's a lot of folks here that just don't know where they're going or they're playing on their phones, etc. Now we're gonna curve towards the southwest here on St. Rose Parkway and then it heads Northeast, southwest, towards the M Casino, which is pretty much the, at the base of the first exit in Vegas for um, Interstate 15. I don't think I've ever gotten this far on St. Rose from the highway without a red light. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. This is very peculiar up to the light here at Eastern Avenue. 
and you can see all the traffic looking to turn left onto Eastern because it's just there's so much down there, so much, so many housing developments down there. It's just yeah, they um, have a lot of traffic going out that way. But fortunately, we got the green light. Well, now yellow here at Eastern. That's a rarity. What's on the sides of the road here? Tommy's? I'm not sure what that is. And a Raising Cane's. So that's a chain, of course. So we come up here to the light at Jeffrey's. Here, Jeffrey, I always think of that scene, Get Him to the Greek, the movie. Got the green light here at Jeffrey's. And continuing southwestward towards Interstate 15. And what is the, really the first exit? here in Las Vegas when you're coming in from California. In Vegas from the state line, the California state line is about 30 miles roughly. Come up to this light here at Spencer and now the red light virus has caught up with us where we hit every light red. Spencer Street. Got the green light here at Spencer, and we will continue traveling southwestward bound towards Interstate 15, Hampton Inn and Suites, as well as some remedies over there on the other side. Right there, Fort Bronco on the other side there, massage and Starbucks in the same building. Get your coffee and a massage. This has just been built out. This used to be, there really used not to be a whole lot of here, a lot, ugh, a whole lot down here. But uh, they've built this out tremendously in the last few years. In fact, um, it's up here somewhere. The uh, Las Vegas Raiders Intermountain Healthcare Practice Facility is down here. And it's huge. Crossing Maryland Parkway. Again, a northern a major north-south artery here, but it does not cross the airport. See this old, is that a Corvette? If you know what that is, go ahead and drop a comment. I'm not sure what that is. Coming up to the light here at Amigo, and you can look at all that traffic looking. That's down towards Inspirata, the new area down there. That is crazy. Wow. And a Popeye's chicken. And an in and out. Wow. And they just keep building further and further south past this Tesla here. Henderson Executive Airport to the left here. As we approach the M Casino, which is going to do its own expansion here very soon. They've announced they're going to build another, I believe, another hotel tower. So we come up to Star Avenue here. Two R's. S T A R R. And uh, more warehouses they're building out here. There's the Raiders practice facility right there. Intermountain Health Performance Center, it's called here off of St. Rose Parkway, and we approach the light here at Bermuda Road, which is a north-south artery here in the city of Henderson, ends up there, but at the airport, the International Airport. We're going to go ahead and get over here. Temperature right now inside reads, the car reads 85 degrees Fahrenheit. See the contrails of a jet overhead up there in the distance that's uh, coming out of LA, or at least somewhere in Southern California, heading back east, probably to the northeast, maybe Chicago. As we approach the light here at Gillespie Street.
always tell who's not from here because they all pile up behind a slow moving semi that's looking to stay in the left lane because it wants to turn up ahead. And this light is Bowes Avenue, B O W E S. And there is the M Casino in its glory. Resort and Casino. Right there. I have to do a video one day, get in there and show folks what that's like. As we come up to Las Vegas Boulevard, which is closely, which closely parallels Interstate 15 here. Las Vegas Boulevard used to be US 91 before um, the construction of Interstate 15, at least that's what I've read. And we got the green light here at Las Vegas Boulevard, so we're going to turn southward. Welcome to the city of Henderson, it says right there in front of the M Casino. Folks jostling to get in front of each other to turn into the M Casino. So we come up here to Volunteer Boulevard. And this is the end of civilization for the most part. Here at the very south end of Las Vegas, for now, here in the year 2024. Because <laughs> um, I, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to try and zoom, have my camera operator zoom out there. All the homes that are out there that way. It's just crazy. And they're just building non-stop low-flying aircraft. Looks like a little... Oh, okay, so it looks like a medevac type of helipad there. And then an RV center here. As we continue southbound here on Las Vegas Boulevard, the interstate is just to our right, over to the uh, west of us here. Looks like a heavy equipment storage facility there. Construction. But there's a reason we're heading out here to, uh, to south on Las Vegas Boulevard, and we'll show you that in just a moment. Take us a few minutes to get out this way. Speed limit 45. And you can see the interstate traffic there on the right side. Alien fresh jerky there in Baker, California. Mile marker 19. So we are 19 miles from the state line, the California Nevada state line here. Speed Vegas, you can come out here and drive a supercar around a track, if that's something you've ever wanted to do. This is the place you can do it here in Las Vegas. At Speed Vegas. Looks like it's kind of busy. I'm not sure what their prices are, I've never been there. But you can see the supercars lined up there. And there's a little track there. And uh, access to Interstate 15 there, along with a little food cart. There's a little point of, it's not a town, I don't know what it is, called Erie, spelled like the Erie, Pennsylvania, Erie, and um, it's, uh, it's somewhere out in here. World's largest Chevron down here at exit 12, I don't think we're going down that far. Uh, Terribles, that's a, uh, a brand of uh, gas station casinos here in Vegas. 
Terrible's casino and gas. Continuing southbound here on Las Vegas Boulevard with Interstate 15 immediately to our right there. Again, this used to be US, US Route 91 before the interstate was constructed. And it parallels I-15 all the way up. I think it finally ends and merges with Interstate 15 up near La Mo Moapa, somewhere between Vegas and Mesquite. Mesquite is right on the state line with Arizona along uh, Interstate 15 up there. desert out this way. road out here. It's popular because of its name. It's really not anything out there. Zizix Road. It's spelled, I believe, Z-Z, as in Zebra Zebra Y, as in Yankee. Z is in Zebra again. X is in X-Ray. Zizix Road. <laughs> Just on the other side of the state line here with uh, California. There's really not a whole lot between the state line and uh, let's say down to Victorville along Interstate 15. There's a few towns along the way. The state of Nevada does not have its own state lottery. It's one of the few states that doesn't. And uh, I don't know what on earth that was that hit us. Um, so folks wanting to play the lottery that live here in Vegas, we have to drive. Apologies for the uh, windshield wipers there. I don't know what that was. They just sprayed all over the place. Um, we have to drive 30 miles down to the state line to a town called Prim, P-R-I-M-M. -M. And there's a little shack of a building out there and all they do is sell lotto tickets. And so we uh, have to drive all the way out there for our lotto tickets. We won't be going that far out here during this video, but uh, if for some reason you want to play the lottery while you're in Vegas, you get yourself an Uber and drive down to Prim. But sometimes the lines are too long out at Prim and folks will actually go over to um, Baker, which is, I think, 40 more miles or something. If I'm wrong, please drop a comment in the comment section. Correct me, please. I want to get it right. And that is the attraction up on our left. If it's, I don't know if it's coming out, but that is the attraction. The reason we came all the way out here. Pull in there in just a moment. Las Vegas, of course. 
first home of EDC in May every year. Electronic music, electronic daisy carnival. And they're coming closer into view now. This is called, these are called Seven Magic Mountains. A few years ago, probably like 10 years ago by now, someone decided it would be fun to paint a bunch of boulders and then stack them on top of each other. Why? I don't know. But, <laughs> as you can see, folks like coming out here. Folks enjoy coming out here and taking a look at the Seven Magic Mountains. It's going to be pretty dusty here with the winds. We're going to uh, try and park here. Take a walk out that way. Okay. And here's a sign right here at the entrance to the Seven Magic Mountains bending within this area prohibited without a permit from the Bureau of Land Management. The sign over here on the left says, This is great for people. Please respect the artwork. Please do not vandalize. And there's a QR code if you want to donate there. And this is the artist's name here. Stand here. No commercial photography. No, we're not commercial. As we head out here to the Seven Magic Mountains. And again, this guy did this just within the last 10 years, maybe. And it's, uh, I want to say it's about 10 miles south of the M Casino that we just passed. I know the wind is really, really strong right now. And it's uh, causing some issues there. But uh, we'll get out here and get closer to these magic mountains. This place is that it's totally free. It's just it's a drive to get down here, and then you have to walk through this dirty pathway here. So bring walking shoes or whatever you're comfortable walking in the desert on with. sand in my eyes here. Got some four-wheelers out there just past the Seven Magic Mountains. The uh, colors, brilliant colors here of the Magic Mountains. As you can turn around now and see more. It's really remarkable that they have not vandalized the graffiti. It's really rather remarkable. We're going to go to the other side here and then turn around. See these guys with their four wheelers out here? And this is the backside of Seven Magic Mountains here. Again, just to 
general reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. So please make your voices known and heard. Just boulders stacked up here in the desert, painted boulders. <laughs> we want to thank you all so very, very much for joining. And uh, please take a look at all of our other videos, our vi travel-related videos, especially here in Vegas. We are stationed here in Vegas and uh, love to show you the sights and sounds from around the town and just remember it is the journey that's the important part we'll see you again next time folks